Hey all, my name is Kurt and I'm here with Trenton. Welcome to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. And today, Trenton, we're gonna be reviewing Larceny Barrel Proof and Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, both B523 releases. I look forward to these each and every time, dude. I do, I really do, because Heaven Hill so far has done a spectacular job keeping the price in check. So it's still somewhat reasonable for special releases. Uh, I believe this Larceny is going to be 60 65 bucks, and the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, 70 75 bucks. Yeah, I feel, I feel like you've always been really excited about these, especially the Elijah Craig. I know mm -hmm. you're, I, are you a huge Larceny Barrel Proof fan? Mm, awesome. uh, you know, yeah, I think one out of the last four or five I thought was very good. They're usually okay. Yeah. But they don't blow my socks off. Yeah. Cause I, usually. I know when we're talking about Heaven Hill products, usually a lot of times... The Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs, what, C919 and B521? B520. B520. Good one. Consistently rank in, in very highly on your list of favorite ports. They do, and they've, and they've done well in blinds. B520 especially has done very well in blinds. Yeah, for well, that me. dethroned the C919. Yes, it did, unfortunately. I, I Yeah, who'd have thunk? Um, but we were fortunate enough to pick up both of these around the same time. So instead of splitting it up between two different videos, mm -hmm. we figured we'd yeah. do the quick and dirty on I both of these. I love doing both of them at the same time. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. So yeah. Both Heaven Hill, Weeder, yeah. Bourbon. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's get started on your left-hand side because this is a Weeder. This is kind of up your alley, He's right? A, yeah. So we're going to start on your side over here. The Larceny Trenton is going to be 60 65 bucks, like we said. This one's 124.4 proof. I actually have the mash bill. I did some research. You memorized the mash bill? <laughs> I got it wrote down over there. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. 68% corn, 20% wheat, 12% malted barley. Okay. 124.4 proof. This smells delicious. Does it? It smells thick. Got a little roll on this glass here. Did you roll mine? I sure did. Oh, how I nice. Just did, I did a second one for me, though. I did yours for you. This smells really good. Very concentrated profile caramels. Yeah, like, caramels like, light, uh, light caramel, nice dark honey. Sometimes I sn I sniff a little too hard and then it like singes my nose a little you, bit. It gets those, like, it gets makes those me, alcohol vapors right yeah, up in there. Makes me do a, a thing like revolt. <laughs> this smells really nice. I don't remember because uh, I'll be honest. I'm usually a bigger fan of the Larcenies. Yeah. Since I'm a big weeder fan than the yeah. Elijah Craig's, I think yeah, they're I both pretty are. solid. Yeah. I I don't remember a whole lot about the A5. Was it A523? I don't remember a whole lot about yeah, it. Yeah, I don't either. And, I, and it's not, that's not unrealistic for me because I'm not usually a massive fan of the Larceny Bro Proofs. Yeah. So, you know, so I don't remember a whole lot about it either. So it must not have been that great. Yeah. It would have stuck in my head. It'll be interesting on the like the year end video when we kind of talk <clears throat> about the best. This of. is nice. I got a little floral too. Do you get a little floral? I definitely get your. Uh, your, your caramels and the honey in there for sure. Floral, you're getting some floral. Just a tiny bit. and Like dandelion weed. <laughs> I don't know if I'd go that far with the floral. It, it, it's kind of, it's like a spike, it's like a spicy floralness. Almost how like arugula is a little bit spicy, but it's not yeah. arugula right. smelling. Sure. I'm going to stop talking now, I think. <laughs> I do get a little honey though. Did you say honey? I did. Definitely caramel and honey. That's on the forefront. That is, I don't remember much about the A521 or 523, mm -mm. but this is pretty solid, I think. It is pretty good. It it, it has this a little bit of a kick to it. Mm -hmm. I will say that, a oh, little yeah. bit of a kick that I'm not used to in a lot of weeders, but the proof is pretty high on this. I'm glad you brought that up because on the whole, especially for me, because I'm not as big of a fan as upper level cast strength proofs as you are. Mm-hmm. Larceny and barrel proofs usually drink hotter than the proof point, and I can say on the first sip there, that's true. It, it's definitely at that 125 proof, might even be a little bit more on the palate. So I think it's very, it's very viscous. Mm -hmm. Like the mouth feels fantastic. Mm -hmm. It has a little bit of like a, a I'm, I'm pretty good at picking up Jim Beam, not as much Heaven Hill. Okay. So I've been trying to kind of pick up that Heaven Hill quintessential profile they have going on. Yeah. And I'm picking up a little bit towards the tail end. It's almost like a tobacco-iness or, or 
some kind of earthy yeah. kind of tone to it. <clears throat> Definitely get some earthiness of some sort on the back end, which is almost slightly bitter, but mm -hmm. not, but yeah. but almost there. But on the front of the palate, Trent, I don't know about you, I took my second sip before I before I spoke about it, but I'm getting a little bit of a fruit note right up front, whether that be a little bit of stone fruit, possibly. To me, it's almost like a uh, like cherry cola, sort mm -hmm. of. And I didn't have cherry coke before this. No, we did not. So yeah, it's definitely some sort of fruit note up front. I like that. I like that cola note. Yeah. That possibly could some be some baking spice note there too as well, coming through for you. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. <clears throat> Maybe a hint of cinnamon, but I'm stretching a little bit on that one. I think it's something in there that's like a nice, like use of baking spice. That's pretty mm, good. Right. What did I, I get, get that, that one time? That like little nib of something you put out here. That clove. Clove. Yeah, maybe that. Like little thumbtack cloves. Yeah. yeah, you took a big mouthful. Yeah, it wasn't good. No, it's I like not it. advisable. I think this is better from what I remember of A five twenty three because I honestly don't mm -hmm. remember much. I can't imagine it would be that great because yeah. I do I do drink these quite a bit at home. I yeah. have like seven yeah. different batches. To yeah, I think it's pretty decent. Mm -hmm. You know, again, with the Larceny Barrel Proofs for me personally, it doesn't overwhelm me, but I think it's pretty solid. Yeah, especially for that sixty sixty five buck. Yeah, and that I love that fact. I mean, I love that that's that's available to those who like it and those who want to pick it up. That it's still, you know, somewhat in a reasonable price point for a for a special release. Yeah. How, sure. how old are these usually? Do you know that one's usually about six to eight years old, somewhere cast, in there. Six to eight year old cast strength for sixty bucks. Barrel proof. Barrel proof. Yeah, six to eight year Pretty barrel good. proof. Yeah, six to oh, yeah, sorry. bucks. Yeah. There's a little difference. Yeah. There. Yep. Yeah, but still, yeah. No, you're 100 percent right, and I get I get where you're going with that point, and that is, you're right on the money. 60, cool. 65 bucks for a beautiful 124 uh, barrel proof, 124 proof. Great. Solid. Yeah. yeah, really good. Well, let's see what you got over here. All right, man. This one here, believe it or not, is 124.2 proof. So we're looking Ooh, almost at, almost at the identical proof points okay. in both of these, right? A little bit older. 70, 75 that, bucks, yeah. a little bit older. So, you know, a little bit more in the price. It's understandable, right? Yeah. Get a little bit uh, older bourbon in the bottle. This one, uh, the mash bill is 78% corn, 12% malted barley, 10% rye. Oh, okay. You don't get that very often. Oh, interesting. I was a little surprised when I looked that up. You know, just a little bit. I, I just was, you just don't usually have more barley in the mash bill than rye. So I like real a, high corn, low rye. I like a higher barley content usually. Yeah. I can kind of smell it in the nose. Yeah. I've, I've kind of gone a little bit ahead of you there. But That's all right. I'd be interested to hear your take on this because I heard, and I don't know if you've seen anything in your research when you do it, that these are no longer going to be like a flat 12-year age statement. It's going to kind of yeah. be dynamic within mm -hmm. certain years. Yeah, right? I did. Yeah, we talked about a little bit at the beginning of the video, but yeah, I, I did see that and I was somewhat relieved that it was 11 years, five months. I'm glad yeah. it wasn't nine or 10 or something like that. But yeah. I'm getting like a s'mores note, a little marshmallowy. I could, I could almost see peanut it. butter. Peanut butter? Almost. I get like some nice, like a chocolate covered raisin. Ooh. Something. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of going there. <laughs> I don't even like raisins. <laughs> yes, you are going there. Raisins are gross. <laughs> no, they're not. You like raisins? Of course I do. That's nasty. Yes. Golden raisins, regular ones in a little box. Like the sun made? Sure. Mom used to pack those for me in my lunch sometimes. <laughs> I would, I would try. I remember and, that because I would sneak a box every once in a while. I would try and like pawn them off to the other kids, and be like, "Hey, I'll give you this, I'll, I'll give you this, these raisins for your Oreos or whatever." It why didn't work. I was. Why doesn't that surprise me one bit? Raisins are nasty. <laughs> <laughs> another chocolate, another one on the list for Trenton of foods he doesn't like. Is somebody is somebody keeping track? I'd be interested to, to actually. Somebody see. Somebody told me in the comments the other day that we should write a book, start a book, of the things that you say. That'd be kind of neat. <laughs> I like it though. Whatever it is, it's it's a little bit lighter. It's not deep and dark and like that on the nose, but it's it's very nice and sweet. Got a lot of nice things on the nose. I went first on the Larceny, and you usually gravitate a little bit more towards the Elijah Craig releases. So I'll let you kind of speak to what you're getting first. Mm. I don't want to crowd your your limelight here. I like that a lot. Really? I do. Yeah. You don't. I'm going to have to try it again. Wow. Okay. Maybe I am too. Surprised me a little bit there. 
I can see where you're, you know, because I know, I know you kind of prefer the larceny, but yeah. Hmm. I like the nose a lot. I think the nose is fantastic, but it does the nose to me doesn't transfer much to the palate, like that sweetness, or maybe the sweetness is there, but then like halfway through mm -hmm. it just like it morphs completely into something like quintessential Heaven Hill kind right. of profile. Mm -hmm. I don't get much else really. Mm. Earthy tobacco y kind of. Really? Yeah. Wow, I'm just I what are you what are you that. what are you getting? Huh. See, when I smell this, I'm like, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. bathe me in it. But when I taste it. I'll grant you that. The aromas, the nose outshines the palate to a certain degree, but I'm not with you. I get a little bit of tobacco note on the end, maybe something like that. But I, I'm finding like it's like a, a honey graham cracker thing in there. It's, <clears throat> excuse me, it's almost reminiscent of the B520. Don't take that too far. Wow. Don't you take that wow. too far. Clip that. Yeah, don't take it too far. It, it It's not as good as the B520. Don't give it. But it, it has somewhat of the same qualities as the B520. There are some really nice lighter notes in there, like a, like a graham cracker, vanilla, um, maybe like a pastry. I really like the bar, like the higher barley, because I'm picking it up in here. Mm -hmm. My only, I think it's, I think it's good. My only knock is mm -hmm. that, like you're talking about, you get some light flavors, and then at the end, for me, it's just like a freight train of like really bold, in your face kind of earthy, tobacco-y, kind of leathery kind of notes. Really kind of takes over. It almost makes me kind of forget about the sweetness that I got really? at the beginning. Yeah, so you don't like that, the back end of the palate. Mm -hmm. Which I can't, I can't deny him on the back end of the palate. I can't deny. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tame it down a little bit from what he's saying. Not a freight train, just but, like a car or something. Yeah, it's just like a little VW bug going. Burr, burr. <laughs> By the way, we got some barley. We got a little bit of you know. <laughs> How did you make that sound? A little what? A little burr. Oh, burr, burr. Oh, you do that really burr, good. Yeah, you do we that really good. <laughs> I gotta practice that. So I mean I get I I get where you're coming from though don't get me wrong I do I, I but I kind of like this one I really do I think it's pretty decent. If I had to describe this this is this is like to me quintessential Heaven Hill with a little bit of like a like you said a, a honey graham cracker situation. Mm -hmm. I just wish the, uh, the nose matched the palate because I smelled that I was like this is gonna be another yeah and I, I gotta give it to you for there I I, I agree with that the nose outshines the palate but. I think it's pretty solid. I really do. I think it's a. I think it's a, a good offering, for Elijah Creek Bro Proof, especially for the first one, that isn't the twelve year stated. That's true. Yeah. You know, I think it's pretty good. Now, it, it, it's not. It's not the B five twenty, but I think it's climbing up that ladder. And it's like halfway up to, to get into that B five twenty. Do you have B five twenty left? Yeah. Sure. Sure. I'll, I do. I'm gonna have to try that next to it and see. Yeah. What what all the fuss is yeah. about. All right. We'll so, do that. You like Elijah Craig the best out of the two? I personally do, but I think both of them are, are, are pretty solid. I really yeah. do. I think both of them are, are pretty darn good, especially for the money. Yeah. Especially for the money. So you're buying that. I'm buying this. You got it. Shocker. You're taking like, that home. You leave this here, and we're all good. I feel like we need Kent here for a tiebreaker. <laughs> but. <laughs> hey, that's all we got for you today. I sure hope you enjoyed it. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly. We'll see you next time. Right down here with Trent and I in the good old basement bourbon bar. See you later.